Alrighty. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to win our seventh badge, I believe. Yes. And now we're here in the newest of additions in Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green series. We are in one island, and as you guys can see right here, there's good old Bill with Celio, and they're trying to figure out some kind of stuff right there with the PC. So while they're doing that, we're going to be taking a tour of uh, one island. Of course, right now, since uh, the PC doesn't really work, and I mean the whole Kanto PC, we're not allowed to switch up Pokemon right here. So the Pokemon that I have on my team are going to be the ones that are going to help me with this next mission right here because, uh, yeah, we got big business coming through. So we're going to be going into Kindle Road. And we're going to be battling a lot of trainers. And I mean a lot. We're going to be talking about a few things. Maybe not a lot, but still, we're going to be doing some stuff right here, okay? Like something legendary. That doesn't seem to be anything. And yes, this girl is starting to get a sunburn right here. So anywho, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the, the, the script right here that I have. And uh, yeah, it looks like to me that we are close to being done with this first half of Pokemon... Uh, Leaf or fire red and all that crud and you know that's that's very very good because I did say I kind of wanted to finish this game up before I want to say I want to say 50 episodes I said that somehow I don't even know but yes we are close and I believe that the after game is gonna be a little bit easier from there so keep an eye out for that guys it's gonna be fun um, what else? What else? Yeah, we're doing some stuff right here, and I need and I did put on my community page that we're um probably gonna be doing something very very special going into Pokemon Emerald, as you probably already know. I think we're like ten episodes deep, and by doing that, I think I've already mentioned something about like the Battle Frontier and all that stuff. I am thinking of doing that, and because we're doing the Battle Frontier, we're probably gonna be adding the Pokemon from Leaf Green and Fire Red now that we are able to actually trade and well a lot of you guys are going for that so <laughs> we might as well do it we might as well do it guys we're doing a we're doing our we're doing ourselves a service by just watching this whole thing right here and uh well i cannot i, I don't know when it's gonna happen but it eventually will happen battle frontier it's just uh yeah i gotta learn my strategies and all that crud gotta pick the right pokemon when we go into this whole battle frontier stuff and, well, as you guys can see, we're taking on Bryce. He's coming out with a Nidorino. And, well, in this episode right here, we're going to be going all the way through... Well, we're going to be going through the whole thing in one island, mainly because, uh... Yeah, there is a legendary Pokemon right here. And what else? What else can we do right here? Oh, yeah. Apparently there's something missing. Something, uh... Somebody's missing around here, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it too, because yes, we are the heroes of this whole thing, and I, let's see, I think we're, we can actually find something right here. I don't know. It's always seemed weird to be a, a weird position right here, but it looks like right here we have a battle girl, so let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Smoke. It's been a while. It's only been like 10 days or so. All right, pay attention to me. There isn't a day in which we don't train, in which and by we, who are we talking about? Oh yeah, her and her Pokemon. So here we are taking on Crush Girl Tanya. She's coming with her Hitmonlee. Shadow Punch. Let's go. Go ahead. There it is. And he, she is coming out with a Hitmonchan. Obviously this Pokemon will try and defeat us with its Punches attack. More of them, it's going to be Elemental and all that crud. And as you guys can see, Puss and Boots grows to level 37. Yes, you are such a fool. Okay, so... Unfortunately, right now, we do not have Rock Smash, but just wait a little bit. Trust me, we will be finding something right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Yes, we're going to be getting attacked by Pokemon. Let's go right here first before we start battling some guys. So let's go ahead and surf right here. And there's Leonardo. And we're grabbing this. Found ourselves a, a Max Repel. Can actually help us out right here. So let's go back. And, well... Before we battle, let's go right ahead and uh, switch out the Pokemon. Yes, I know, I got Zapdos on the team. Leave me alone, guys. Zapdos is there for a very, very good reason. I'm telling you this right now, it's going to be there for a very, very good reason. And, well, here we're taking on Garrett. And, well, let's go ahead and start switching. 
and doing these things. He's coming out with a cloister. Right now, I don't have a true electric attack. But eventually, when that happens, that's going to be fun. And, well, let's go straight for Puss in Boots and get more monies from him. And Fan Attack, Fan Attack. Let's do it again. Fan Attack. And there we go. That's a lot of protects right there. And Puss in Boots gets more experience points from Speedo Torpedo himself. That's fine. That's great. Let's go. Okay, so here's a funny thing, guys. Now, if you guys, if ever you guys are looking for a very, very good training spot before the Viridian City Gym, right here, this is a very good spot because not only are you facing these two guys, but you're facing those two guys. And if you have a position right, you can get an extra trainer right there. That's for all the grinding and all that crud. So what's going to happen is I'm actually going to go back to smoke right here and, uh, you know what? Let's go with Smasher. Okay, bring it on. And, well, here we go. Good combination battle. And one of the very few. And here we have Mick and Kia coming out with a Machoke and uh, Primate. And, like I said before, guys, this place, this area right here is very, very, very good for training. And, yes, we're going to go with the Rock Slide. So let's go right ahead and do the combination. And Shadow Punch right there. And, well, let's go with a Body Slam right here. So... And how in the heck does smoke faint? I don't know. Let's go big booty butt kiss, aerial ace, body slam, and there we go. We have defeated We have defeated the opponents right here. And well, it never hurts to actually use a, a revive, so make sure to stock up on those things, guys. And where are you? There's two max revives, but we're not gonna use those yet. So here we go. Smoke, my bad for making you faint. And well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Go straight for Leonardo. And let's go right ahead and start battling these guys. Let's see. There we go. Alright, dress appropriately. <laughs> He's calling my outfit frivolous. Oh, such big words right here. So here we go. Take it on Black Belt Hugh. Coming out with his mod job. Seismic Toss. Surf. That's the win. And Puss in Boots grows to level 20, 38. Let's go with Zapdos. Yes. Truly unfair, Drill Pack for the win, and Hugh has been defeated. Alright, who's next? Every morning before breakfast, I swim around this island. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so here we go, taking on Black Belt Shay, and well, let's go straight for a surf attack, and we're gonna be switching it out right here to Zapdos. Let's go, Drill Pack, and just like that, we have won. Now, the third. Or the next trainer right here that you'll be able to find is this battle girl. If you position her well, bam, you can get yourselves five trainers of battle and actually grind it out. This is actually, again, a very good place where I started grinding out my training for the Elite Four and whatnot. And here we go, battling some Pokemon trainers yet again. Let's go straight for this guy right here, Zapdos. And yes, we are steps above you. Okay, so... Here's a cave, light the fire in your heart, Ember Spa. Okay, let's go right in here, because this place is a very, very good place to actually heal up your Pokemon if ever you are grinding. And I believe if you talk to this lady, uh, have a look at my face, see how smooth my skin is. The hot springs water keeps my skin younger than my age. Okay, that's not the person. But if we talk to this person, the hot springs go hand in hand with the volcanoes. The Ember uh, Spa here, well, I made it years ago. I hewed the pool right out of a gigantic boulder by hand. I was using this at the time. I suppose I could part with it, and he will give us the HMO6, which is Rock Smash. And uh, if you go down the middle right here in the spring, bam, all your Pokemon are now fully refreshed and healed. So that right there is a very, very good spot. And plus, you get steps right here for the VS Seeker. Okay, so let's see. I really don't want to use the... the uh, I really don't want to use Rock Smash, but since we kind of need to get everything around here, let's go right ahead. Really? Is Aptus going to learn it? Huh. Seems odd. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. So let's go with Butkus right here. Let's see what, what else it can learn. Let's see. What kind of moves did it have? Huh. Okay, so I guess I can part with Takedown for just the time being. I can always replace that move with something else. And there we go. We got ourselves a uh, Rock Smash. 
So let's go right ahead and grab these items that we have uh, found right here. So let's go. And we're going to speed this through. Again, we're going to get attacked by Pokemon on some of these ball or these boulders right here. So just be, a be aware. And here we found ourselves an Aether. And, well, let's see. There's no items right there. And we get to smash many things right here. Here you'll be finding some Pokemon again. Such as Geodude and himself. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and battle some more Pokemon. Alright, let's go right here. And the Pokemon, or the item that you will find is right down here. And we found ourselves a Carbo. So, there you go. Valuable items that you can use to power up some of your Pokemon. And, well, let's go on to the next area right here of Kindle Road, I believe that's what it's called. And, uh, let's see, I think there's an item right here somewhere. Hidden item, never mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and surf. Leonardo doing the, the honors. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use a Max Repel. That way we don't get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. And, well, before we do anything, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon here, too. It's always nice to actually have Pokemon that can uh, get some training right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take on this guy. He's like, seen from here, Mount Ember towers into the sky. Yeah. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on another Speedo Torpedo. His name is Finn. No one cares because we're about to do this Shadow Punch. And we're confused, but still, we got ourselves a win right here. Look at that. Smoke grows to level 39 and is learning Destiny Bond. This move right here is kind of funny. If the user faints, the foe delivering the final hit also faints. So this is a, you know, it's a good move if it goes hand in hand. And I don't think... Yeah, you know what? I'm probably gonna... Let's see. I'm probably gonna stay with it. I don't really think I'm gonna be using a smoke very much right here. So let's go right ahead and move on into the next part right here. Let's go battle some more trainers. And she ignored me. I need you to pay attention to me. So here we go, taking on another trainer. And would you look at that. Swimmer Maria wants the battle. Coming out with her Seedra. And, well, Shadow Punch. Uh, Nightshade. Nightshade. And there we go. And she's coming out with another Seedra. So let's go with Zapdos right here. And Drill Peck the way. And we got poisoned. That's always nice. And Maria has, de has been defeated. But we actually need to heal up our Zapdos right here. So let's go right ahead. And use one of them full heals right here. And there you go. So, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, we got one more trainer before we head into Mount Ember. And this guy's like, wait, wait a second. I think I've hooked a big one. Did you really? Okay, so here we go. Take it on. Fisherman Tommy. And this guy's going to be coming out with a Goldeen. So he's got five Pokemon. It looks like it's going to be a fun one right here. And he's coming out with a Goldeen. Let's go with Smasher. Smasher with a Body Slam. And there you go. Seeking's coming out. Let's go with Puss in Boots. Payday, 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 payday again. Look at that. We're getting some money right there. And, well, he's coming out with another Sea King. Let's go with Zapdos. Drill Peck. There we go. And one more Sea King. Let's go with Big Booty Buckus. Let's go with Dig. And Rock Smash. Rock Smash. Come on. And we faint. Okay. So that, I brought that on, on on myself right there. So let's go with a Mega Kick. And just like that, Leonardo grows to level 47. Yes. Okay, so... Again, there were going to be casualties. So let's go right ahead and revive our good old buddy, Budkis, right here. Alright, so you have been revived, my friend. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going into the next area, right here in One Island. One of the biggest changes to the uh, Kanto games is the location of Moltres, because of course, right here in Mount Ember, this is exactly where you're gonna be finding this Pokemon. Now, if you talk to this guy, can you imagine if this volcano were to erupt? The explosion would end the, well, well, would be the end of us. How terrifying is that? While we're terrified, would you like to like me to teach you explosion? This guy will teach you explosion. It is a very, very powerful move, but it's a self-sacrificing move. Yeah, not right now, homeboy. Now, the other thing that you'll notice right here is that you got some Team Rocket members, and he's gonna be like, what the? You're in the way. Get lost. Okay. Uh, over here. We'll start. We'll try digging here. The treasure the admins have been talking about should be here. Okay. What treasure? I do not know. 
All right, so another thing that you'll be able to need or that you're going to be needing is a Pokemon with strength. And that, that right there is something that, you know, we're covering. And uh, let's see. Really? Okay, so to me, it looks like I didn't even teach Smasher uh, an HM move right here. So what move should I get rid of? And, oh, wow. Okay, so that's the reason why I didn't teach it anything. Okay, so it did not learn that. So we got to forcefully to teach somebody this and uh, it's looking like to me that we're gonna go with Leonardo mainly because uh, it's mega kick attack is very inaccurate so yeah let's go with Leonardo for right now obviously I'm gonna be switching out some moves here and there I think we can find a move deleter eventually I think that's in Fuchsia City so do not worry about that so let's go right ahead and move these boulders and if you have a Pokemon that you already taught uh, you already taught Rock Smash 2. This is a place for a shortcut. And before we battle her, let's go right ahead and give Zapdos a little bit more love. And get ready to battle her. Do you know how caves form inside volcanoes? No, not really. That's actually a very good question. And, well, we're going to be getting attacked by Ranger, Pokemon Ranger Beth. And, well, Drill Pecs. And we're going to keep on doing this. And look at that. Congratulations, Zapdos. It has grown to level 51, and there we go, Puss in Boots grows to level 40, which is also great. And, well, keep an eye out right here, guys, because you might be able to find some uh, rare items right here. I could be wrong. And, well, let's see. Now, here is a shortcut to getting towards uh, the cave. You go right here, use Rock Smash. Or, let's see, if you go up here, that's the exit. There are some Pokemon that you can find right here. I think we can find a um, Magmar around here. In the other version, I believe. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're going to use another... Yeah, we're going to use another Max Repel. And, well, let's go right ahead and try and battle that, that battle girl right there. Because she's been calling out my name and I'm here to oblige. So let's go right ahead and go to Leonardo right here. And let's go straight for the battling right here so yes you you might have to battle people okay i've been training i've been in training so i can mend my broken heart you're toughing me up physically at least Hiya. okay so we got a broken hearted lady right here and look at this we're digging on crush girl jocelyn and she is coming out with her hitmonchan so let's continue with the strength here's a surf and look at that okay two hm moves in the works and let's go in reverse and there we go Jocelyn has been heartbroken yet again. Although, I probably wouldn't break her heart because she'd probably break my arm. So, we're using a Rock Smash right here. And what can we find? Okay, I think we could find an, an item right here. Hmm. That's why we have an item finder. Okay, so that's a Pokeball. Item finder, where in the heck are you? There you are, and there's nothing. Okay, never mind. One can never be too sure, so let's go right ahead and battle another trainer right here. He sees us from that far, and well, an active volcano is one of the uh, one that's erupting or about to. Okay, thanks for the lesson. So here we go, taking on another Pokemon Ranger. His name is Logan. He's coming out with an Execute, and yes, I am the King of Paralysis. Always gave him paralyzed, and we're gonna go with Big Booty Butt Kiss right here. Let's go with a Flame Wheel again, and just like that, Logan has been defeated. Yes! Okay. So, let's see. Oh yeah, we found ourselves in Ultra Ball. Precursor to what's about to happen, again. And... Well, here we are in the inside of Mount Ember. Active Volcano. Don't worry, it won't burn us. And yes, we'll be able to find some Rock-type Pokemon right here, too. Later on, you're going to be finding some much more rare Pokemon that don't normally appear in the Kanto region. And, well, look at this. We're making our way through, thankfully. We are repelled, and here we are at the very peak of Mount Ember. And, well, before you do anything, guys, make sure to check out every single spot right here. Because you will be able to find yourself a, a Firestone, and then grab this item and find yourself another Ultra, another ultra Ball. Which is, uh, well, you're, gonna, you're definitely going to be needing it. And, well, let's go right ahead and use this uh, strength attack right here. And we're going to be moving this. And I do believe that if you just break both boulders, go fast, and go fast right here. 
you will be able to push this to the side and well look at this we found ourselves another firestone so remember two firestones for the price of one right there and we're gonna be going straight up right here guys and this is the area where you're gonna be finding yourself a very rare Pokemon super rare very annoying I don't like its last two and well look at that we have found Moltres right here so, yes, I'm going to be saving this game because, yeah, this is going to be, if this Pokemon is anything like Articuno and Zapdos, it's going to be annoying, it's going to take a while, I'm going to get angry, I'm going to be cussing a lot, and yeah, this is something that, yeah, I kind of, do, I, I kind of want to prevent. So, what we're going to do is we're going to heal up our Pokemon, and, well, let's go right here, there it is, let's go with uh, another one with Smoke right here. And yes, we got to speed this up a little, so there we go. Everybody's getting healed. Full heal for the win. And one last thing. We need Zapdos at the very beginning because, yeah, this is going to take a while. All right, heal up our game. And, well, here it is, guys. Maximum effort. Let's go ahead and try and capture this Pokemon. Here is Moltres. Okay, take two. We kind of made this Pokemon faint. So here's round number two. And it turns out that Moltres does have, it does have uh, Endure, so we're going to have to try and hit it. We're going to have to try and hit this Pokemon when it's coming out with Endure. That way, it can be at 1 HP. That will give us a chance. So let's go right ahead and do it again. And, well, we're already at 1 HP. Or not 1 HP, but we're already at the low HP right here. So let's go ahead and try and capture this Pokemon. As you guys probably already know... I tried capturing Articuno and Zapdos at the, you know, with the same kind of tactics and all that stuff. Many of you guys have been saying, put it to sleep. It's immobile. Yeah, I kind of like my paralysis a little bit better, but, you know, I, I, I will be listening for the next Pokemon that, or the next legendary Pokemon that's up ahead. As you guys can see, Moltres not liking me right now. So let's go with a, another Ultra Ball. See how many Ultra Balls it's going to take, because I remember going for Zapdos and, uh, and Moltres, or in Articuno, they took about, like, all my Pokeballs. A lot of frustration right there, and of course, Zapdos has fainted. Let's go with Budkiss, since it's the same type thing. And yes, we have lowered its, uh, we have lowered its attack. Let's go straight for an Ultra Ball. Again, I really, 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 really wish they uh, they would have added, uh, what was it, timer balls in this one. This would have been awesome. And as you guys can see, Moltres is not liking me so far. So let's go ahead and speed it up a tad bit. Come on. You know, you want to be an Ultra Ball right there. And, well, this Moltres is being a friggin' uh, a-hole right now. Still paralyzed. Maybe I probably, uh, yeah, probably, I, I probably should have put it to sleep. But I wasn't really thinking about that too far ahead and well let's go right again and do another ultra ball it's probably gonna get out right now look at that okay so this freaking burning chicken stay in my goddamn ball and there we go try it again again yeah it's starting to look like it again and yeah this pokemon will not stay in the pokeball yeah we might have to put this pokemon to sleep yeah that's why I hate capturing legendary Pokemon, guys, because it's just, you know, you can't, you can never tell when the difficulty is going to be up or down, and this guy right now is making it hard for me. Yeah, okay, so let's switch out the Pokemon. Go with Leonardo, and another one. At least with Leonardo, it's going to be, you know, not a lot of HP taken. And you know what, I'm going to speed it up. Yeah, this is uh, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I'm losing all my Ultra Balls because of this guy right here. And there we go. We have caught Moltres! <laughs> you see, that's why I speed up this whole thing because legendary Pokemon are just lame. So here we have Moltres, the flame Pokemon, one of the legendary bird Pokemon. Those seeing it are overwhelmed by its orange wings that it seem to be on fire. Hmm. You weren't, you weren't as much as a a-hole like your brother and, or your brothers or sisters or whatever they are. So I'm not going to nickname you. You're going to go to Team 1. And there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a Moltres. And, well, two tries. Hmm, I really like that. Two friggin' tries. Normally it would take me about five tries in. Well, let's go ahead and break that. And, of course, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon right here. 
you know, one of these days, I'm going to speed up through a, a, a shiny Pokemon, and there's going to be nothing I can do about it, so... And then many of you guys are going to laugh at me for it, which I wouldn't blame you. So, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to return to one island, or, you know, this the Pokemon Center right there. We're going to rest up our Pokemon, and we're going to stop our episode right there because, well, hey, well, actually, you know what? we got to heal up right here. Yeah. The Ember Spawn is always a good place. Very, very close. And, bam, we have uh, healed up our Pokemon, especially the fainted ones. And yes, in the next episode, guys, we will be going through two and three islands because there, there is something going on. And uh, it really, well, it's not a lot of storyline, but it's it's a very good spot. These are very good spots to act, uh, very or very good spots to actually train your Pokemon in preparation for like the eighth gym battle and all that stuff. So that's the uh, that that's the thing we're going to be covering. And what, what's going to happen right now is. Let's go right ahead and not get bothered by any of these Pokemon right here. And let's go straight for a Max Repel. And, well, here we are, back to One Island. Now, before we do anything, guys, let's go towards the other section right here of One Island. And this place right here, Treasure Beach, is a very nice spot to find some rare items such as, you know, nuggets and all that stuff. Or big pearls. This, uh, you know, you, every single day it actually you can actually find some new items, and it depends on you know time and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and find ourselves an Ultra Ball. See, we're finding ourselves some pretty cool stuff. And uh, let's see, we're okay. Nothing right there. I wish this was like like the newer games where like you can actually find a Sparkle right here. Eh, whatever. Talk to this guy. Good things. Well, uh, good things get washed up by the ocean current onto the beach. That's why I often come here uh, for some beach combing. Oh, okay, beach combing. Alrighty, so that is that right there, guys. And yeah, we're gonna be battling this girl. Let's go ahead and just uh, defeat her real quickly. Look at that, look at that, okay. And there we go, Dugong, not feeling so good. And just like that, Amaro has been defeated. And yeah, she gave us 144 Pokey Dollars. That's not a lot right there. So anywho guys, uh, we're going to pause the episode right here in one island. In the next episode, we're going to be going to two and three islands. And we're going to be figuring out what's going on over there. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being patient as always. If you guys want to make a small donation to the channel right here, the heart button's down there. Make a donation and it's going to keep this uh, channel rolling. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.